Hey guys, so for my next project, I'm going to mount this case cruiser rifle case to the top of the Forerunner over there without drilling any holes in this. All right guys, thanks for watching again. And this time I'm gonna free up a little bit of space in the back of the Forerunner. Now that I don't need to run the roof box all the time, we've got the trailer, which you can sort of see poking out right there. And don't really need to put um, anything on top of the truck anymore, which is great for wind resistance. However, I do have a bit of um, gear in the back of the truck that we don't really access that often. You know, the compressor and the tools and chains and toe straps and recovery gear and stuff like that. We don't get stuck that often because we have a forerunner. But I do want that stuff to be accessible and particularly the pump. I always cram the pump way in the back or way in the front of the uh, cargo area. And so it's kind of a pain in the butt to get back out when we need it. But I got this case cruiser and it's a rifle case. I don't use it for rifles, but I do travel with it sometimes for video projects. I'll throw um, tripods and, and light stands in here, put them on an airplane. But I don't really do that that often. So um, I had the idea to put this on top of the truck and um, because it's, it's waterproof, it's got uh, a gasket all the way around. It seals up pretty well. Not quite as nice as a Pelican case, but it's pretty good. Um, and then it snaps down with these four latches, which are pretty secure. It's got four locking points along the edge. It's got a carry handle here on the front side, as well as a carry handle on both ends. So I want to be able to mount this up to the top of the truck without drilling any holes in this and without drilling any holes in the truck. Now, um, this rifle case is fairly long. The bars on top of the truck are going to need to be about uh, 60, 67 inches apart. Now, um, you may be wondering, what model third gen forerunner I have that has the ability to mount the roof rails, the factory roof rails, um, 68 inches apart. And the answer to that is it's your standard SR5 third gen forerunner from 1999. But I have taken the added modification of taking a, another factory roof rail, just as like is on either side of the truck when you bought it. Uh, I took one of those from a junk shot, junkyard or a salvage yard, cut it in half, and then mounted it in front of the existing roof rails. So now I have a roof rail and a half, and so that's how I was able to get the um, Yakima bar all the way towards the front with the fairing. Quick word of warning, this tutorial or this tip or this project isn't gonna work for you unless you know you can get your roof rails um, 68 inches apart, which is no small feat. I mean, if you wanna do the mod that I did, you do have to drill a couple holes in the top of your truck. But you don't have to drill any holes in this. And this is where all your gear is going to go, and so it won't get wet. And no, my truck doesn't leak yet. So here's what you need to do this particular project. First of all, you need one case cruiser. Um, I don't know what model this is, but it's designed to hold a butt ton of rifles. Well, three or four at least. So you need one case cruiser, and make sure it's got handles on both ends, like this. These handles, it's got to have those handles on both ends to do it this way. Next thing you're going to need is about eight of these Yakima Universal Round Bar snap-arounds. And then you're gonna need um, four um, carriage bolts. I'm using um, 3 16 carriage bolts with a washer and a nut. And then, of course, you're gonna need a little duct tape, or Gorilla Tape in this case. Now, we're running out of light, so I'm just gonna do the first part of the project for you now. Um, so first thing, these round bars are these round um, adapters here will snap right around this um, handle but it's not quite tight enough so what I'm going to do is use the duct tape to um, make that a little bit thicker so that the round bars are a little bit the snap arounds are a little bit tighter 
So I'm going to start with about that much. That's about a foot maybe. And wrap that around um, on one side here. I'll do it on both sides, but I'll do one at a time. Yeah, get some grit in there. It's okay. All right, so let's check and see if that's right. That's perfect. It'll get nice and tight and then it won't slip. So I'll do the same on the other side of this handle. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these snap arounds and just dry fit them here like that. Now this is going to sit with the, the Yakima bar here, two more of these down below it, and then it's all going to get clamped together with the bolt. Let me go ahead and do the other side. That's it, I got it all mounted up. It's getting dark and uh, I gotta put the kids to bed. So I'll show you what I could fit into this thing in the morning. All right, well that mounted up pretty well. It's pretty secure, I think it'll work out really nice. It frees up a whole bunch of space um, that I had in the, the cargo area, the Forerunner. Um, even with the trailer, I like to have all that stuff in the truck, on the truck, um, in case we leave the trailer at camp and go do something else. Um, plus, it's actually, it's actually a lot easier to get to because before I had that stuff stuffed way in the front of the cargo area. And so I'd have to take a bunch of stuff out to get to it. Now I can put other stuff there and it'll be a lot easier to get the compressor and the inflator and the tools and stuff um, when everything's all loaded up. If this doesn't work out, I'll let you know right here. Um, but thanks for following us. If you like this video, be sure to like. If you want to see more like this, be sure to subscribe. We're going to do a lot of fun family adventure and camping stuff this summer and next year, and everything should get cooler and more fun. Happy trails.